Greetings all in the name of our Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the final days of July 2020. Getting ready to welcome in August here this weekend. Uh, sorry I didn't get this out a little bit sooner. I missed our, our Wednesday midweek devotion time, but here it is Thursday evening. Wanted to at least still get a thought out there and encouragement as we head towards the end of the week and we uh, wrap up this July 2020. Got to kind of laugh and smile. Uh, I saw a little one of those uh, memes on social media on Facebook today that said, uh, if 2020 were an ice cream truck, and it was a cartoon, and it showed an ice cream truck, but on the side it had highlighted liver and onions. Um, one of those, I think, uh, far side uh, cartoons, if those that like watching or pay attention to those cartoons. So um, I had to kind of laugh. Uh, we, we think about all the different things that are, uh, have been going on uh, in these past uh, weeks and months. Uh, that have made up 2020, and a lot of people have definitely uh, expressed this thought, uh, you know, this frustration, uh, you know, e even anger uh, about uh, different things that are going on and dealing with. And you know, how do we as Christians uh, respond? What what are we uh, to to do with all of this? And you know, and lo and behold, then God comes to us in His Word, doesn't He? He speaks to us. He gives direction. He gives encouragement. He gives us reminders and. Uh, that's what I want to share with you again this evening, too. Uh, some beautiful words from uh, wise King Solomon from the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Above all else, guard your heart. Right? Guard our hearts. Uh, protect them. Uh, th this kind of also ties into the Apostle Paul's words there in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, right? The great love chapter, you know, and in the end he says, Now these three remain faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is love. Uh, love and the heart are kind of connected together there, uh, and, and that reminder. Uh, faith saves. Faith in our relationship with Jesus is is it, but without hope and without God's love. Um, faith, faith is empty. Faith is nothing. Those three, three, those three are so intimately connected. And uh, wise King Solomon, inspired by the Holy Spirit, um, penned these words, gave this encouragement. Above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. And isn't that true? Uh, when we really think about our, our life, our actions, uh, what we think, uh, how, how we uh, carry on and, and deal with people day to day, uh, all the different things. It's, it's connected to our heart. And so uh, Solomon reminds us we need to guard our heart. You know, what are we guarded against? Well, we guard it against this sin-filled world. We guard it against the attacks of Satan. Uh, we, we guard it against even our own selfishness at times. Uh, we, we guard our heart. We, we let God's love reign supreme in our heart because it is that heart that uh, is, is connected to our faith, that's connected to the fruits of faith. And, and so we need to guard our heart. Uh, we, need, we need to protect it. And the, the shield, uh, the, the, the protection that, that we're given is, of course, God's powerful, holy word, right? It is there to help us. It is there to strengthen us. It is there to uh, give, give us the comfort and encouragement that, that we need to, uh, to guard our heart, that we don't let um, the, the, the wickedness and the evil and the selfishness and the rudeness of this world guide and dictate us, that instead we guard our hearts with God's word. We guard our hearts with God's love and we let that love then reign in us because it is then from the heart that everything that you and I do uh, flows from that and, and it flows prayerfully with a with a joyful heart, a thankful heart, a happy heart you know and and yeah even even in those bad days, even in those tough days when we're we're struggling, we're battling right we're, we're having you know those some of those ultimate, uh, Murphy Law days where everything and anything that possibly, possibly could go wrong seems to go wrong. And we get tired. We, we get frustrated. Uh, we might even look heavenward and get angry at God and say, what's the deal? Uh, and, and yet even there, we have to be so guarded. We have to be careful that we're not 
falling into the temptation of uh, Satan who wants to uh, get us to curse God, who wants us to attack God. Um, you know, because no, Solomon says, above all else, guard your heart, right? Keep your heart connected to God. We do that through faithfulness in his word, doing what we're doing right now, taking the time to uh, meditate on this verse, taking this time to uh, t- take guidance and comfort from his word and, and to be there and to just be reminded that uh, when maybe I look at my life, when I look at uh, uh, the things I'm doing, and, and maybe I'm struggling because, boy, I'm not feeling real happy about the things I'm doing. I'm not feeling uh, excited or, or, or welcomed or uh, appreciated, right? I'm thinking that maybe, uh, what, uh, people are just taking me for, for granted, that people, uh, my, my worker, or my boss, my employer, my supervisor, um, the family at home, they're, they're, they're just taking me for granted, and we might get uh, a bad attitude. We might, we, we might start feeling real uh, abused and getting frustrated, and then we start to maybe bite back. You know, it's, it's times like this that Solomon's words here in Proverbs come, that uh, guard your heart. Uh, let, let God's love surround you, right? Um, and, and, and it comes down to this important fact, right? It isn't about what everybody else around you deserves because, you know, we're all sinners. So I don't deserve anything good from anyone I'm involved with or related to or connected, whether that be my my wife, my children, uh, siblings, uh, other family members. Um, You know, I I don't deserve to be treated uh, with with respect and kindness because like them, I'm a sinner. And I could say also uh, with with things going on, well, you know what? Maybe they don't deserve for me to be nice to them and kind to them. Uh, But it isn't about that, right? It's about guarding our hearts. It's about focusing in on what God has done for us and what does God deserve from us but our very best. Uh, God deserves you and I to love and cherish and care for everyone, everyone he puts into our life. And that we don't look at those people and say, yeah, today I'm not feeling it. I don't know if you deserve anything good from me. And that, that might be true, but we got to look beyond them. We look past them and we look to God and we remind ourselves what God has done for me. And because of that, then, I understand that God calls on me to show kindness, gentleness, respect. Or, as Paul reminds us in the letter to the Ephesians, that out of reverence for Christ, out of love for Christ, what do we do? We submit ourselves to everyone. We, we, we submit ourselves to everyone else. That, that means we let everyone, if they feel they need to, yeah, they're going to take advantage of us. They, 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 they might not treat us very well. And instead of our heart being motivated or controlled by what they do or what they don't do, we do a better job of guarding our heart when we focus in on what God has done for us. So then when we guard our heart, then everything we do flows from it. And when our heart is fueled and motivated by Christ's love, and not the love and the thanks and appreciation that we receive from anyone else, but simply totally guarded by what God has done for us, then the things that flow out are connected to God and his love. So it's a tall order. It's a challenge, right? And so uh, we we, we hear these words. I hear these words talking about these words, and I'm kind of going, I I need to get back down on my knees here again tonight and say, God, I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, maybe I didn't do a very good job this week guarding my heart. Maybe I let uh, some of the struggles, frustrations, challenges that I was facing this week uh, got, got, got the better of me and my heart wasn't guarded and maybe my reaction, maybe my response to things wasn't the best. But this is the awesomeness of God and His grace, right? That He allows us to get down on our knees figuratively, sometimes literally, and say, I'm sorry. And what does he promise? That perfect love, that perfect forgiveness because of what Christ has accomplished. 
And we take that and we run with it and we cherish it and we let it energize us. That's the guarding of our heart. That's then where good things can continue to flow as we move into a, a new month here real shortly, right? Uh, this coming Saturday, just two days away. Here we are, August 1st. So uh, lots of good things happening this uh, weekend where we'll be uh, uh, welcoming, installing our two new uh, teachers that have now arrived, uh, Amy Helwig and uh, her husband Dan, they arrived a couple weeks ago, and our, our newest teacher, uh, newest teacher of the field, just a new graduate, uh, Sarah, uh, she also with her parents arrived at the beginning of this week and getting settled in. So we will uh, welcome them into uh, our church family. We will uh, install them into their positions as our new called uh, teachers to help and serve our Lord and our Savior's congregation with Small Steps Academy as we start prepping and getting ready for the start of a new school year. And of course, lots of different challenges and questions as we continue to deal with the COVID-19. Uh, but uh, again, the guidelines, the direction that uh, uh, the school board and, and uh, are, uh, are following with the director, um, they're, they're getting plans in place and we know God is going to bless all of that. So we are getting ready for the start of a new school year and some things happening with that as well. So in the coming days, there'll be some email reminders coming out. Make sure to check out uh, the announcements through email and, and announcements through the our, our webpage, oursaviorsfl.org. And uh, pray you all are having a, a great uh, week. Here it is Thursday. Friday's already upon us tomorrow and uh, heading into the weekend. So God's blessings to you all. Thanks for giving me some time tonight uh, to share these words and thoughts with you. Uh, let, let's just close with that apostolic blessing, shall we? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship, the Holy Spirit be with us all. Have a great night and have a great weekend. Blessings.